Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us for this Aitchen Alumni Speaker Series event on college admissions. My name is Emma Jamal Wattu, and as always, I'm your moderator for this event. Uh, I'm from the batch of 2015. I graduated from uh, with a master's in public administration from Columbia University, and currently I'm working as a senior counselor at uh, Brio Premium, a Lahore-based consultancy firm. With me are my two speakers, very esteemed speakers, uh, Ali Nomani from the batch of 2004. Ali graduated with his master's in school leadership from Harvard University. He is the co-founder of an edtech startup called Outclass. And our second speaker is Usman Bashir from the batch of 2006. Uh, Usman graduated with his bachelor's in economics and maths from Yale. And he did his MBA with a distinction from uh, Harvard Business School. So uh, he also is a co-founder of Outclass. Uh, thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining me for this event. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this event is sponsored by AMG, which is the Aitzen Mentorship Group. Uh, I go through this every week, but uh, we are a large group of uh, alumni, about 360 of us, mainly connected over WhatsApp, Facebook, and Discord. Uh, we host this uh, these Zoom webinars to educate Aitzenians about things like entrepreneurship, financial literacy, and potential career paths. And to participate, you can always email me, and we can uh, host you every week of this year. An outline for today, uh, we'll first have a discussion with the speakers, followed by a 20-minute uh, Q&A session. And if we have any time remaining, we can do some networking. Always a pleasure to network with fellow Exonians, you know, and anyone applying for university in this cycle. Challenge, I'll just stop sharing and uh, go to my speakers for my first question, which is about choosing the right universities. So, I will ask Ali first that you know, what do you advise that the girl is in O level or A level and is deciding universities ki list of universities? So, what do you think about like university ka jo size hai, academics, uh, usme aapka growth potential. So kya wo factors hai jo students ko uh, dekhna chahiye when they are selecting their universities? Hmm. Thank you uh, for that question. I think Usman uh, also we've done a session like this before. He uh, had a diff he takes this from a different angle. So I'd love to get his voice in as well, um, particularly about sort of price of the degree versus uh, earning potential and country choice in that way. So I'll focus my answer uh, on fit for the university. Oftentimes, I have seen this in my children that the US News and World Report and they look at the top 1 to 50. And then they try to find their fit and try to find that in my number and grades, I can come to the university. And I think that ये आपको बहुत सारी अच्छी ऑप्शंस जो आपके लिए बहुत सुटेबल हो सकती हैं उससे प्रिक्लूड कर देता है अब आपके लिए अच्छी ऑप्शन जो सुटेबल हो सकती हैं उसमें रैंकिंग के अलावा क्या देखना है I think your program of study uh, is very important. You should go somewhere where uh, at least A levels के अंदर जो आपको लग रहा है कि मैं ये पढ़ना चाहता हूँ, explore करना चाहता हूँ, उसका वहाँ पे एक robust program हो, उसकी वहाँ पे uh, uh, like you said, sort of geographically, I think a lot of people underestimate. Uh, so the Ivy League, for example, is in a very cold part of America. It's in Northeast. Uh, and I, like when Harvard, we had the blizzards or snowstorms. It was quite depressing. So uh, I think if you are some people, you know, some people really like to be in one kind of weather versus another. And there are good universities across the globe in different types of weather. So Then I think uh, sort of more social factors such as uh, if you want to be a big fish in a small pond or a small fish in a big pond so let's say you uh, you go from being the top student in your country to a place like Harvard University Harvard takes 110 international students per year or there about right so you can imagine that they are you know top performers of their country but when you get to a place like Harvard uh, everyone is like that. So you become all of a sudden from a very big fish to a small fish. And that has, we've seen that impact people um, in many ways. So I think it's a factor. Uh, and then I, I'll, I'll, I'm looking forward to Usman speaking about the financial considerations, Usman. Ji, uh, Usman, ke liye bhi wohi sawal, you know, if you don't mind, what do you want to see? 
you know what do you recommend ki students look at when they uh, make the university yeah no thank you i think ali ka like perspective i i agree with or ye wale jo hai ranking based approach lo bahut dete especially in the uk i think uk mein for a very long time there's been like this official list and you can break it down by majors while that's okay i use it in a different way like mera perspective jo maine ali se bhi last time share kiya tha is ke at the end of the day aapne financial return on investment aapko dekhna chahiye chahe aapke parents ke hain ya aap khud fund kar rahe hain when it comes to masters program a few of us or few of the people in the audience might be considering ki okay i've been working for a while is it worth doing a one year masters program somewhere abroad so important lens hai ki aapka goal kya hai agar to aap wapas pakistan for sure aa rahe hain like you you know you're going to come back so then actually there's very few programs at least in the us that are worth it and why do i say that ki pakistan mein and i can tell you my personal experience even with a yale education and i friends from every ivy league pakistan mein koi as such if you think ek mai jab wapas aaya and i was looking for a job after graduation to bahut doors open honge that's not true this might come as a shock to people but i interviewed just like my friends who had gone to lums usi tarah ko k p n g k i c i c i can remember doing the and literally mujhe ek bande ne kaha ki ji main aap theek hai aapne bachelor's kiya hai mere paas to punjab university ke phd's aa rahe hain wohi job dhoondne mein aapko kyun hire karu so i'm telling you verbatim mujhe ye bande ne interview mein pucha and us waqt aap you know you can sound pretentious and you can say mai yale ya harvard gaya hu ji but fact of the matter is you're not going to get the return it's now cost 200000 dollars for a four year program at most of these schools even with a scholarship or most universities will expect you to take a loan right so they'll say aap loan le lein you can pay us back that math only works out agar aap wahi pe kaam kare kyunki you know aap ek starting job 60 se 70000 dollars us ki hoti hai and you can work your way up and you can pay back the loan so first advice ki ji be very think beyond university ke aapne karna kya hai this will not only help you decide the university and the program but also where to go so i think and we'll get to this but canada and germany uh, are two places and turkey those three stand out for pakistanis jab mujhse aajkal mere cousins ya koi bhi puchte hain and the reason is ki wahan pe job dhoondna aur immigration ya you know staying for a couple of years after graduation to work is much easier us mein it's very hard uh you would know this but there's a h1 lottery process there it's very hard so you know if you spend all that money parents can you come back or end mein aap usi line mein ho so it's maybe not worth it so this goes beyond just seeing ki ji okay georgetown is great for law that's awesome but agar aapne wapas aake pakistan mein karna hai to people will tell you ki yaar local system se kare aur wahan ki degree le local llb kare aapka bahut better chance hai so spend time talking to people in your industry in pakistan कि कदर है कि नहीं जिस यूनिवर्सिटी आप जा रहे हैं उसकी सो बिट ऑफ अ प्रैक्टिकल एडवाइस व्हिच कम्स 15 इयर्स आउट ऑफ यूनी अब मेरा ये पर्सपेक्टिव है थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इनसाइट्स उस्मान एंड अली नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट हाउ अर्ली टू स्टार्ट द एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस हम देखते हैं कुछ काउंसलिंग सर्विसेज में माइन इंक्लूडेड हम रेकमेंड करते हैं कि स्टूडेंट को स्टार्ट करना चाहिए ए1 से जो है ना तैयारी एंड यू नो एकेडमिक रिकॉर्ड भी उससे पहले परफेक्ट होना चाहिए especially if you want to apply to the us to so, aap dono kya recommend karte hain ke kab tayari iski karni chahiye shuru like you know uh, in terms of grades like sats karne acts ye sari jo decision making hai yeah. ye kis point i think it's a yeah i think it's an important question us universities will um, consider your entire high school uh, education uh, when they are considering whether you are a good candidate for admission which means 9th grade through 13th grade in our case the o level so wo 9th 11 10th 11th jo hai wo o level se lete hain aur phir as level se aapka baki 4 saal ka is tarah wo gpa apne system ke through pura karte hain so that's just something that people should know um then they are when you are filling out common app and and questionnaires around participation in extracurricular involve uh, activities or sports and these types of thing this is also ninth grade onwards so i think students who um were sort of targeting at least when i was a high school principal in the us students who were targeting the uh, top tier universities 
uh, we would, um, in fact, we would encourage all our students to start taking their GPAs, uh, which in this case would be internal examinations uh, for HSONI and, then, and other students here, uh, as well as the extracurricular involvement in sports pretty seriously as soon as they hit ninth grade. Achha, phir kya hai? अब अब मैं थोड़े नट्स एंड बोल्ट्स बता देता हूं कि आपके कौन कौन से ग्रेड्स जो हैं वो एंड अहमद प्लीज करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग समवेयर बट योर ओ लेवल्स ग्रेड्स योर ए एस लेवल इफ यू अपीयर फॉर देम एंड योर एस दिस इज योर एकेडमिक रिकॉर्ड दैट यूनिवर्सिटीज इन अमेरिका विल कंसिडर बेस्ड ऑन विच देल एक्सेप्ट और डिक्लाइन योर एडमिशन सो ए एस लेवल आई थिंक जब आप ए लेवल्स के फर्स्ट ईयर में हैं सो दैट मार्च is a really good time um, to give your sat for the first time or a2 ka jo uh, a2 ka jo beginning time hai that august is a very good time to um, prepare to give it for a second time and i think i encourage students jinke liye inke admissions ke liye sat zaruri hai ke wo zarur do dafa dene ki uski taiyari kare kafi fark pad jata hai agar kuch issue ho jaye ya kuch ho jaye and then sort of i think <coughs> mera jo formula tha as principal i would encourage students to write have their first draft of the common application essays done before they um, finished as level wala year uh, and then sort of spend the last 6 months december tak a2 ke pehle saal just revising it refining it showing it to people changing it if need be and and so similarly i think that summer between a1 and a2 is a really good time to start uh, um, you know uh giving your college admission list some type of uh, college list some type of shape thank you so much for that uh, ali usman do you have any comments to add yeah ani nee, i'll join and and i think yeah, again this is one of those things that has become even more competitive in the last 10 years since like i sort of was at college and and i'm sure if you work with students aap ye kehte hoge aap log o levels mein you know start kar dete hain at least thinking about what their activities their application their scores will look like so yes you're still going to need good o level scores and that should be your focus but the one thing that us and now i'm talking top admissions it may be not as relevant for the uk but you know they they look for a story and some passion or interest ke aap um, you know in my case it was bridge which is really random but you know i was i used to play bridge a lot and i really pursued that so instead of being jack of all trades like i you know my weekends were spent playing bridge and like made it to the pakistan junior team and stuff and so i think if you want to get into elite admissions to aap koi na koi jis cheez ka passion hai wo o levels mein hi start really pursuing it and what i mean is you know there's people who do amazing things aap robin hood army ka padhe aap unka padhe ki you know you see a problem around you and this is an example but i have friends in india who did this and now in lahore and they saw ki yaar itni food wastage hai hamare shaadi pe jate hain khana zaya ho raha hai restaurants pe jate hain so they just started this volunteer group that would after hours collect all the food that you know restaurants were throwing out and so you know what aap ye thank you na aap hame de de hum collect karenge aur hum logon mein bantenge it's just like pursuing some interest but taking it to a level where it's now become this movement or you know volunteers hain you just na aap ye sessions kar rahe right you don't have to but taking initiative and doing it like is tarah ki cheeze matter a lot because they show who you are as a person us elite admissions mein this matters a lot because i'll be blunt like getting good grades us analogy but is table stakes what does that mean like that just gets you to the game in a poker game yeah everyone has chips right everyone is here to play so aapke you know 11 mere zamane mein you know i did 11 wo bade ab 15 a's ye a's wo that's not what differentiates people that's just the gpa but who are you as a person to so, people start prepping in o levels if i'm honest and yes there are consultancies i think that's your next question they help you think about that but on your own as well i never used a consultancy but you know agar aap debates karte ho aur ye bhi karte ho wo bhi karte ho pick one and really go all in so you have something to talk about and something to share i agree with you 100% usman thank you so much for that ke apni jo niche hai ya jo us mein isko niche kehte hain ठीक है अपनी जो निच जो है ना वो ढूंढना एंड यू नो कैपिटलाइजिंग ऑन दैट मेंशनिंग दैट इन पर्सनल स्टेटमेंट्स आई थिंक वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है और वो एक्जैक्टली आपकी बात है तो यस मेरा अगला सवाल कॉलेज काउंसलिंग पे ही है और ये मैं पहले आपसे पूछता हूँ उस्मान के 
डू स्टूडेंट्स अब ये लेट्स टॉक फ्रॉम योर परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ एल्डर ब्रदर्स ठीक है हम जो है यू नो वी वेंट टू एट्स एन कपल ऑफ इयर्स बैक अब जो है जो नेक्स्ट जनरेशन है उनको हमने बताना यार कि कॉलेज काउंसलिंग उनको चाहिए या नहीं ठीक है उनका एकेडमिक रिकॉर्ड अच्छा है बट डू दे रियली नीड दैट एक्स्ट्रा हेल्प एस ए टी प्रेप में ए सी टी प्रेप में एंड स्पेशली पर्सनल स्टेटमेंट्स में तो क्या उनको जाना चाहिए टू काउंसलर्स और कौन से काउंसलर्स रिकमेंड आप करेंगे तो विल गो विदमान फर्स्ट नैन अली yaar yeah, blunt answer ye hai ke as much as i am someone who's i you know even and we're in the business of providing prep courses but maine khud nahi liya tha but it's just recognizing ke the vast majority of people or hamare parents mine included didn't know admissions so you know jab hamare jo ab next generation hai when you're prepping aapko hota hai yaar main parents se puchunga ya main apne bade bhai se puchunga if they haven't done it themselves so they're not really a good resource and ye bahut competitive ho gaye mai admission so much as it pains me because i am someone jo har hamesha mera answer hota hai yaar just google it just like pad lo sample essays pad lo but i think i have to acknowledge ki a lot of people will benefit from working with professionals because that's who they are this is just like saying you know some people keep accountants and some do their own accounting but it's now become so competitive ki if you are a serious candidate um you 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 know you know you are one of the top scorers in your batch or aap pass it score bhi aa jayega yeah it gives you an edge um and so I, and and i know you know there's a few names in pakistan that have been doing it well um some private ones as well to woh ek dusri baat hai ki find my advice and i'm not going to name names is but or ye mba admissions mein bhi hota hai by the way it's a very competitive uh, counselors field ke find find a counselor jo bahut mass market nahi kare you know you find someone who's working with 100 candidates वही वाली बात है कि वो आपको कितनी अटेंशन देंगे और कितना इन्वेस्ट होंगे सो फाइंड समवन हु हैज अ ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड बट इज जस्ट टेकिंग ऑन 10 20 पीपल एंड रियली इन्वेस्टिंग इन योर एप्लीकेशन एंड वर्किंग विद यू ये नहीं कि उसी तरह इनमें जेनेरिक वो आपसे बातें कह दे कि अच्छा चलो ऐसे लिख के ले आओ मैं देख लूंगा देन इट्स नॉट वर्थ पेइंग फॉर दैट यू माइट एज वेल रीच आउट टू फ्रेंड्स सिब्लिंग्स कजंस हु पीपल लाइक अस हु वुड टेक आवर टाइम but yeah you find someone who's going to really work with you from o levels onwards and help you craft an application i think that's worth it thank you so much for that as one really really helpful uh, ali same question to you yeah i think i i, I don't have much to add uh, it is it has become incredibly technical and super competitive uh, and unfortunately uh, many schools don't have the resources though i do, i think hsn does have resources now um which are much better uh, i know uh, dr bani is there i know there another gentleman by the name of jamal i think is also has been there so uh, we have some services um and uh, students need to be proactive about accessing them um, and i think uh, there are private services available as well which are quite good they're expensive uh, but they're good so what do you recommend any like jinka aapko pata ho ki unka track record acha aapne jaise jamal ka aapne baat ki you know edson college mein me i think jamal sahab and madam uh, dr bani are, are two people i know who are working at hsn not not as uh, private candidates um, but i know i know somebody by the name of ahmed jamal but who is doing this work recently so uh, maybe somebody is listening they should check him out sir sir aapki recommendation jo hai uh, you know beyond words thank you very much yeah. aur by the way main masters ke karta hu main aajkal uh, bachelors candidates ka nahi kar raha to aur main nice. kuch applications mein free mein bhi kar leta hu तो मुझे इट्स नॉट अबाउट द मनी फॉर मी इट्स अबाउट रियली हेल्पिंग पीपल और अगर किसी ने भी करना है ठीक है जैसे मैंने रिसेंटली बैचमेंट्स को भी कुछ हेल्प किया था विद मास्टर्स एप्स तो जस्ट ड्रॉप मी मैसेज और एन ईमेल और हम कर सकते हैं बट चलें बट आई थिंक हियर इफ देयर इज अ सीरियस कैंडिडेट स्पेशली फॉर द मास्टर्स लेवल बिकॉज़ आई हैव अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस लाइक आई डोंट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ हाई स्कूल एक्सपीरियंस गोइंग इनटू कॉलेज फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान बट मास्टर्स के लिए इफ पर्टिकुलरली एनी एच सोनिया दैट आई लव टू हेल्प आउट Perfect. I, I just add that you know, having said that, and this isn't so anyone listening to this call might think that we have paid sponsorship. For you, one of the things we're doing at Outclass is actually, in a way, disrupting this. At least your basic questions. Oh, then I get what is a common app like SAG advice. We're gonna have free videos on our platform that at least gets you through the basics. So uh, I'll be honest. Mere paas jab koi bhi mera apna chahe cousin, chota bhai aaye aur wo bilkul hi keh de ki ji sir admissions karne hai. अच्छा क्या प्रेप है मतलब ये भी नहीं पता कि कॉमन ऐप क्या है तो दैट्स अ नो फॉर मी आई एम नॉट विलिंग टू वर्क विद और हेल्प समवन जिसने खुद एक बेसिक लेवल ऑफ एफर्ट नहीं डाली हुई सो वी डोंट वांट एनीवन टू फील डिसएडवांटेज कि आई कांट अफोर्ड 
uh, a top counselor or a one-on-one -on -one counselor. So does that mean I'm out of the game? Absolutely not. Um, I didn't use a counselor at my undergrad level. Um, so we're going to provide at Outclass. I'm personally recording a lot of videos. So you have basic resources to at least compete effectively with people who are using counselors. Yeah, I think um, I'll add to that as well. Something that's incredibly uh, frustrating for me when it happens. And, and I think it's a good waste of time for everyone involved is when, when you ask a question, when people ask questions that they can find answers to on the internet. Uh, so, you know, like when you come to us, by the time you come to us or people like us, you should have those things already resolved. It should be more strategic questions. It should be more like finishing type of questions. Um, uh, things like things that you can't get an answer for. Sir, my situation is it worth it for me to get a loan at this point or not? You know, uh, uh, so do those things and do those things on the internet or local resources. Say that if we get more than half an hour with us, so we can be really effective with the time like, uh, of that nature. Great. Thank you so much for that, both of you. So it's an age-old question, which is a big debate. That when you decide to decide on majors, what should you see the applicant to see their aptitude or that I'm good at something? You should see that there is a lot of scope in Flanay Jagam, there is a lot of salary, there is a lot of salary, and my family will be fine. So, ये पहले मैं I want to go to Ali for this कि इसमें क्या choose करना चाहिए aptitude और salary potential. Yeah, this is a strange question for me. Um, so when I was at HSN, I was studying to become a dentist. I was in the medical core. I went to Lund after that to do law, uh, and then I didn't finish that either. Then I went to UT Austin to study accounting. Didn't pursue that either. Um, did some try to do a bachelor's in economics that was really hard and then ended up being a teacher so getting at those who can't do teach so um yeah uh, but um i think uh, you know to a uh, more serious answer perhaps would be um money is one aspect of a, a satisfied and fulfilled life uh, oftentimes, um, it is it feels like the biggest aspect. But I'd rather not be a banker and realize 25 years later that I, I I've been you know a banker for 25 years because it made money and uh, left me unfulfilled. So something that you're passionate about and fulfilled through, you can do for a very long time. Mashallah, I'm like rounding out my 19th year in education and uh, I am still very excited every day to participate, whether it's an out class, whether it's like doing a one-on-one -on -one session with someone, uh, you know, at 6.30 p.m. right now and I'm excited to do this. There's not a lot of people uh, and sometimes there's a lot of people, you know, So, but but because it's something exciting, it's something I'm passionate about, uh, I, I keep doing it. I don't see myself getting bored of doing it in, in the near future. Um, I think at some point uh, it didn't make any money and recently it has it has made some money and then and that ebb and flow continues um but i, I really like learn to prioritize going to sleep uh, relaxed and happy uh, and i think that's sort of ultimately what people are trying to get with money as well uh, thank you so much for that ali um usman yeah such a tough question yeah um i'll give slightly more well, honest but like nuanced answer circumstances I think one thing that I've become very aware of is I use the word privilege even in Pakistan. You know, like you can put Pakistanis in a bucket when we go outside, so yes, it's a third world country or aapke, you know, compared to the guy whose dad is a US like, you know, lawyer and for them like the sort of money, relative money is very different. But Pakistan, mein, like, look, if you are if you come from a family, ja, mashallah, you, your, your parents have worked this hard to do well, you're going to HSN, let's say you have your own so you shouldn't feel this pressure which was our parents' generation, that if you don't a lawyer or doctor, then so you know like that leads to a financial outcome. I think your parents or my parents work that hard so that I can genuinely pursue something that's a bit more sort of, you know, something I'm passionate about. That being said, professional bridge player. That was not going to happen. Uh, and so I still tell someone if they say that I have a history about passion, hai, great, pursue that. But like, no, the outcome is like either becoming a history professor and what that pays, you can easily Google this or go. And at least I have that conversation with yourself. You know, when I'm 30 and I'm looking back, or my friends have took, took harder paths or whatever more financially lucrative paths. 
but you know i love doing what i do i'm teaching at lums now i'm a history professor i make x i don't know whatever you know look it up will i be happy or not wo abhi se sochto bajaye baad mein regret ho but it is i won't just use the typical answer ki nahi bas you know bankers make money lawyers make money to aap wo kar le because i now know you know post 30 you realize you have friends who who did that but they're not happy so ali wala answer so you know agar aap aise circumstances se ke hain you're the first one who's like in your family sort of going to college or going abroad so yes maybe lifting your family into that upper earning bracket is the priority for you go after practical high paying jobs but if you're lucky enough ki you know you want that for your for your kids to just socho is na ki what would you want your kids to do you're working this hard so they can they can follow you know they can do english literature if they want and just follow their passion so i used to be more pragmatic but ali wala answer bhi hai ki if you really do what you're passionate about the money also ends up sort of taking care of itself a uh, great answer ji thank you so much really insightful um to agla mera sawal ye hai ki farz kare ki you know and this is, will eventually happen obviously for many of the people who are watching this uh, jo bhi o level z level mein university pahunch ke theek hai ab kya theek hai how to make the most of this experience ya aapke parents agar support kar rahe hain ya you've gotten there on your own theek hai uh, scholarships leke to how do you make the most of this experience kis tarah aapko career minded hona chahiye aapko what kind of activities should you be participating in So um, yeah, I, I, I'll I'll start. Okay. Uh, I think no video games for four years. Uh, <laughs> you know, like that. That's just a you gone for four years. That time is never coming back. I wish I was in college uh, again. So many times I wish that. Um, and so so that's number one. You know, get out of the get out of your dorm room apartment as much as you can. Uh, Link to that is the second thing, which is. um meet as many people as you can uh, especially if you're like at a big international school uh, especially for people who gone from a place like hsn college which is so insulated from the rest of the world um try to try to uninsulate yourself by exposing yourself to the to people who have had like very different experiences from you um and i think the third thing i'll say is within with a few things uh, especially in the first two years of college everyone should try to explore interests that uh, they otherwise might never pursue again so uh, this is the equivalent of telling people who are very uh, like me not very um, kya kehna chahiye experimental with food ki yaar ek dafa to sushi kha ke dekh le you know wo wali cheez aapne whether it's a guitar class or it's a uh, uh so, you know latin literature or something like if you have those types of options don't shy away from them and like really uh, try to embrace learning rather than passing or grades uh, because you know with ek dafa aap college aa gaye ab aapne nikal hi jana hai dusri taraf and and i don't know i think increasingly less and less people are asking questions about gpa when it comes to the job market so uh, you know pursue things you are interested in uh, and that will help you become a more wholesome individual and uh, a better interviewer anyway uh, thank you so much ali usman uh, can you please take the same yeah part? i love his answer i think ye yeah it's i i wish this is such a good question because mujhe bhi kisi ne as such ye kaha nahi tha right you go to uni and you think ke ab bas padhai is you know you're used to that anyone who's been in that game of hsn or grades and this you think bas padhai hai but it really needs to change to a couple of things ali's mentioned sort of personal social development social skills it's underestimated because very soon after university in fact senior year mein aapke interviewing skills aapke networking skills suddenly are expected of you and you realize yeah, when was i supposed to learn this and how no one teaches you right like suddenly how do you host a nice zoom webinar where there's no workshop for it so the only way is push yourself up kare goryon goron se dosti kare unse sikhe baatein kare go to their events like beyond your comfort zone don't just let it stop you care oh all these guys do is like these random mixers or ye kya hota hai no one saying ja ke you have to get involved but don't just shy away or apne comfort zone mein bas yaar char pakistaniyon ke beech mein aap baithe hain aur bas desi khana hi khaye ja rahe hain and we know people like that right and then suddenly they're like how do i talk to this jp morgan banker i have i have no idea what baseball is i have no idea what this guy likes so it's important to develop your social skills and usi tarah 
स्विच यूर गेयर इन टू रिक्रूटिंग मोड अभी से यू गेट टू कॉलेज फ्रेशमेन ईयर से थिंक के ओके आई एम डूइंग इकोनॉमिक्स बट वट डू आई वॉन्ट टू डू आफ्टर कॉलेज एंड हाउ डू आई बिल्ड अ पाथ टू दैट एंड यू रियलाइज एक्चुअली मुझे अभी से कुछ प्रोफेसर से भी तालुकात अभी से बनाने सो दे कैन राइट माई रिकमेंडेशन इन ईयर थ्री नो वन टोल्ड मी दिस सडनली सीनियर ईयर में रिक्वायरमेंट थी कि यू नो अटैच टू रिकमेंडेशन फ्रॉम योर टीचर्स and i was like i never like which which professor do i ask like this is an hsn i don't know bhatti saab and Salah. like how do i you know ask to wo koi batata nahi hai so it's very important to think ahead talk to seniors ask them what should i be doing abhi se give me advice you've been here for 3 years now and and really start building freshman years and yes agree log karenge nahi but you know you get to university you are your own person then parents hi keh rahe is waqt utho is waqt so and we've all done it you know console games and this and that but that is time wasted it doesn't come back maintain like have fun as well but really be action oriented if your parents are spending that kind of money like the payback is if you land a good job after so you need to be laser focused on that but high kind I of think Usman, for itself but uh, yeah sorry man touched on it but i also want to really emphasize start going to career services events from your third month in college you will learn so much and you learn skills that you will never learn in classrooms yeah the other thing which like this is becoming a career thing again mujhe kisi ne bataya nahi tha we all sort of think okay ab main econ major hu to i can't go to you know on campus nasa i b a oh i am not a physicist mera kya kaam hai no like if it just sounds interesting go meet someone and say i have no idea what you guys do but you know i'd love to find out and ye jab aap skill develop kar lo na ki get people to talk about their interests and learn from them bajaye aap apna ki ji main mujhe cricket aati hai to main bas cricket ki baatein kar sakta hu is is pointless if you're there go to an american football game just learn whether you like it or not because it's interesting to them that's how you network so ye ye skill zaruri hai so thanks for asking that question great ji socializing seeking discomfort ठीक है मेक दैट मींस कि यू विल बी मेकिंग द मोस्ट ऑफ दैट एक्सपीरियंस बाय द वे जो जूम वेबिनार्स हैं आई गॉट मैं आई वुंट से आई एम एन एक्सपर्ट लेकिन मैं ठीक कर लेता हूं जूम वेबिनार्स बट ये जो लोग देख रहे हैं उनके लिए कि आई वाज अ टीचिंग असिस्टेंट एट कोलंबिया तो पूरे जो साल है ना ड्यूरिंग कोविड-19 जब क्लासेस इन पर्सन नहीं है ठीक है सारी ऑनलाइन है तो दैट्स हाउ आई फिगर्ड दिस आउट इफ आई डिडंट हैव द हैव दैट एक्सपीरियंस इफ आई हैडंट यू नो आस्क टू बी अ टीचिंग असिस्टेंट एंड गॉटन सिलेक्टेड तो ये चीज ना होती तो जस्ट समथिंग फॉर द व्यूअर्स तो नेक्स्ट में सवाल है अबाउट वेयर टू स्टडी पोस्ट कोविड 19 ठीक है तो इन योर एक्सपीरियंस अब आपको शायद इस पे पता हो कि यूएसए यूके कनाडा ऑस्ट्रेलिया ये मेन स्ट्रीम जगह हैं जहां यू नो पाकिस्तानीज यूजुअली जाते हैं फॉर देयर डिग्रीज लेकिन आपकी क्या रिकमेंडेशन है शुड दे लुक एट अदर कंट्रीज आई थिंक उस्मान वाज मेंशनिंग टर्की अर्लियर तो आप कुड यू प्लीज शेड सम लाइट ऑन दैट Yeah, Turkey and Germany, I think, are fabulous places to study. Um, it's tough. Like Turkey, me for example, your top schools and they are very intense in terms of pedagogy. Um, so I'm thinking me too and others. But um, you know, they're really good degrees, less expensive than European and US or Canadian schools. Um, but top quality educations that are respected everywhere. Germany, maybe there's a lot of scholarships, especially people who are looking at engineering should think about it. business schools yeah is tarah ke masters in finance masters in marketing people just think about ncad but you know uh, spain mein couple of amazing schools uh, esad is tarah ke you should look into those because saste bhi aur scholarships bhi dete hain um last year if you had asked me because of covid most schools were doing remote learning and honestly no point like for me that was pointless because anything any masters program these days can teach you you can learn online probably for free um and so for me it's no you know i'm not going to pay that kind of money agar main yahan se baith ke zoom pe seekh raha hu aur end mein aap mujhe ek degree bhej rahe hain for me the value in college is the immersive experience everything we've talked about it's living on your own running your you know your own setup so important ab main akele agar rehta hu right so apna ghar chalana you learn that when you first ship off and the socializing part the making friends the going to events अगर ऑनलाइन ही करना है अपने घर पे बैठ के और अभी भी उसी तरह खाना बन रहा है और आपके हर चीज हो रही है डोंट वेस्ट द मनी आई थिंक इट्स चेंज पोस्ट कोविड अब मोस्ट प्रोग्राम्स आर ओपन अगेन सो यू यू नेम द मेन स्ट्रीम ऑन बट आई वुड ऐड टर्की एंड जर्मनी टू दैट 
चले थैंक यू सो मच जी अली डू यू वांट टू ऐड समथिंग टू उस्मान जान सर नो आई थिंक इट इट वाज प्रीटी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव आई थिंक द ओनली ओनली पॉइंट मे बी इज के चाइना इज एन अदर कंट्री आई वुड लुक इनटू आई थिंक द फ्यूचर ऑफ पाकिस्तान इज रियली टाइड विद चाइना एंड चाइनीज and turkish uh, uh, people are two people that stand out to me as more developed uh, than pakistan and very welcoming of us which i think makes a huge difference ji ji very good point to last question pe hum aa gaye theek hai you know i think we've had a great session to uh, any parting advice for the applicants jo abhi ye dekh rahe hain ki unko abhi like kya karna chahiye koi cheez jinse wo motivate ho jaye yaar ke webinar pe gaye the bahut kuch seekha yaar um I, is tarah ke to i i wish i had golden words but i think just seeking out um seniors and mentors so my life path a lot of it uh, has sort of changed and and it's people look at my linkedin and they think ki shayad bahut ek smooth ride rahi hai but it's been full of stresses and ups and downs when i graduated from yale i told you i couldn't find a job 2010 mein recession aayi thi 2008 ke crash ki wajah se moved back to pakistan मैसिव रियलिटी चेक आई टोल्ड यू मतलब मुझे जॉब्स पे लोग कहते कि ठीक है मतलब ये क्या है आदो से तो प्रोनाउंस भी नहीं होता पाकिस्तान में सो यू नो बट आई थिंक जस्ट टॉकिंग टू पीपल इन देयर मिड ट्वेंटीज एंड लेट ट्वेंटीज आपके इर्द गिर्द आई डोंट नो व्हाई मुझे भी अभी होता है मेरे अपने कजन्स हैं इस वक्त जो यू नो देयर दैट 18 17 18 एज ग्रुप और हम ये वेबिनार कर रहे हैं लेकिन घर पे वो मेरे से नहीं एडवाइस मांगता या पूछता and i think it's the number one missed opportunity is not talking to your and i'm not saying elder so i'm actually making this distinction ke people miss that gap they just go to their parents and without sounding rude they their generation was very different admissions were very different um and you know global restrictions in terms of passports were very different so talk to people who are actually in that life stage abhi who will tell you ki yaar us mein to h1 lottery mein 50 50 chance hai coin toss hai canada jao do saal mein passport hai like you can only find out with people like you and me who are you know in that sphere now where these things matter instead of looking at college rankings alone and saying ki yaar ye to bahut acha school lag raha hai amherst chala jata hu but the context is there's no job at the end of that and you'll have to come back or pakistan mein koi qadar nahi hai so talk to people ask advice and related thing spend one or two days shadowing someone in pakistan doing the job you think you would like again massive missed opportunity mai jab isi stage mein tha my dad said ki yaar corporate law kar lo you know i I've, i've heard it's amazing and you know i'm not saying banker doctor but lawyer corporate lawyer bahut amazing cheez hai or you know ye karo and us waqt uh, afridi shah in manila was this top firm dad ke friend the aur mai do din ke liye sirf gaya to see the life of a you know starting lawyer ya jo bhi and i thought it was miserable i i thought this is not for me main baith ke pura din commas aur ye cheeze nahi theek kar sakta there in and where in and let it be said i this is not for me not for any amount of money aur ye mujhe 18 mein was the first time i had that not for any amount of money moment jo us waqt lagta hai are you ridiculous like 50000 rupees a month like because aapki no jeb mein pocket money 2000 chal rahi hoti at least in my day but <laughs> yeah you have to imagine can i sit here and do this every day I know people जिन्होंने पूरा A C C A करके toughest exams ever करके पहली audit job के second month में कहते हैं मैं नहीं कर सकता like I I can't be sitting here and doing these numbers all day and all night so just talk to people who are in that job uh, say कि यार reach out cold reach out on LinkedIn find someone at that firm you respect in Pakistan and आप कहेंगे जी आप lawyer हैं I really you know I'm inspired by your profile would you have ten minutes to tell me Uh, or answer a few questions about your job i would really appreciate it and aap dekhe log time nikalte hain i i do maybe a call a day but like you know 5 6 a week mujhe random linkedin pe aa jati hain and i'll make 5 or 10 minutes for anyone to say here's what i've learned about investment banking and why you should or shouldn't do it um log ye opportunity nahi use karte of cold reach out to people and ask them for advice networking 101 sir thank you so much for that or uh, ali uh, do you have any parting advice yeah ha i mean uh, I, i think ye sunari huruf jo hain mushkil mushkil kaam hota hai aakh mein bolna i think i'll i'll say a couple of things one um your 20s uh, you should destroy in search of your passions jis tarah bhi hota hai aap se but and um try many different careers if you can if that's a thing uh, try living in as many places as you can 
different cities, different cultures, different countries, if you can. Um, you know, we suffer from a lot of Gora complex. So, when we think about countries, we think about the UK, US, Australia, and then our geography is over. So, that's, that's not the case. The world is a very interesting place. Um, we in Lahore are, are used to a very um, narrow way of thinking about life. I think that expanding that horizon is very important. Um, and taking some risks uh, in your 20s, uh, is very important because you will not find that time and that capacity to take risks any at any other point in life. You're still untethered. Uh, you can recover relatively easily from small step backs, um, and you don't have very high stakes. So, um, you know, if you've lived in four or five cities, if you work two or three jobs, if you've pursued like two or three different fields of study and uh, careers, I think you, you're, you're set to launch off a long and pretty uh, happy career because you, you have more knowledge than somebody who just followed like a straight and narrow path, uh, you know, and then whether they were happy or not at the end of it is totally, totally different. So I thank you so much for the amazing advice. Uh, I need to give a virtual applause. I hope you have a but yeah, amazing. Bohut, bohut answers diye, jo mujhe bhi, I think they'll be really helpful to me, especially, you know, to network ki baat ki, or jo passion ki baat ki, uh, you know, Ali ne or Usman ne. So really, really appreciate it. So now we'll go move on to our Q&A session with the audience. So if you're an audience member, you'd like to ask a question. So please do raise your hand. If you don't do it, then I'll ask you a question. Because I Ali or Usman ko pata So please, ye mauke ka pada uthain. And G. Daud, you have a question? Uh, yes, first of all, uh, thank you so much for uh, the answers. They were actually really helpful. Uh, one of the questions that I would like to ask is uh, Germany and Turkey. So in the past year, I actually did go to Turkey there and I really did enjoy my experience. But one thing that I have to ask is once you go over there, you understand there's a huge language barrier. And even if you are able to socialize with a lot of people, uh, unless they don't speak English, it's really impossible for you to do that. And in terms of learning a language at this age, it is quite difficult, especially if you don't have the time for it. So my question would be, if you go for masters in, for example, Germany or Turkey, what could you say for yourself as in what are your, going to be your outlook of jobs internationally? If you yeah, first thing I say is uh, that you're too young to be shying away from difficult things. So learn the language. Uh, learn the language of the country that you're going to go study in, your experience will totally change. And uh, I have a cousin and Usman has a cousin who both went to study in Turkey. They both know the language now, they both speak the language uh, and they sort of, you know, have that edge over us for the rest of their lives because we went to an English speaking country. Um, it's not that hard and learning a new language is something to be embraced with uh, with zeal rather than to be worried about um, or, or aapka pura university experience is totally different. And then you'll also see that in the country, if you go to Punjab in some village and आप लोगों से पंजाबी बोलें तो they welcome you in a very uh, different way as compared to अगर आप वहाँ जाके उर्दू बोल रहे हैं तो similarly if you are in Turkey and people know that you have put in the effort to learn Turkish uh, that show the level of respect for their country and their culture I think you they'll value that and give you back so much more that it's totally worth it um, in the end for you to do that I'll, I'll add yeah, that, you. you know, there's the program itself, because the harder part is like, how do you learn engineering in Turkish? So the program is in English. Um, my, yeah, my cousin went and yes, but like, you know, making friends, socializing the part that I talked and Ali talked about, Uskili, you learn it. So he, you know, maybe not fluent, but functional Turkish where he has friends, he goes out with them. He's, you know, and, and if he started a job to or improve, but itni ajati aapko. German, we have a friend just now to PhD currently at Germany. Say he went for a master's, ended up staying. You you learn it. I I I learned French. I'm fluent now at college, so I don't know why you're afraid of learning a new language. The China wala comment, jo Ali ka tha, I, I think that's the future. And so I would really applaud someone who embraces that, goes to a Chinese university, gets a scholarship, learns the language because you're seeing kitne projects even Pakistan me hore. Imagine the edge you would have if you were back in Pakistan, you speak both languages, you have like, let's say a management degree, projects, projects, after this corridor is done, they're not going to exit, you know, 
and they have massive investments they're going to make in Pakistan. So you would be prime, you know, candidate for getting one of those jobs. So think of it more as may have anyone who asks me now is like coding is is a, is a language. Learn it, like invest in it. If you think the future and आगे की jobs के लिए it's going to be an essential skill. तो अब ये तो नहीं हो सकता कि मैं उर्दू बोलते हुए पैदा हुआ था तो बस अब मैं उर्दू में ही खेलूंगा इससे आगे मैंने कुछ सीखना नहीं है सो आई नो आई आई एम नॉट सेइंग कि गो लर्न इट मैन नेसेसरली बट आई एम सेइंग इफ यू नो इफ लेट्स से द ऑप्शन इज यूएस में 200,000 डॉलर्स की डिग्री है टर्की में 20,000 की है प्लस स्कॉलरशिप भी मिल रही है प्लस जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी भी है हमारे वाला कल्चर है हलाल खाना है लाइक आई डोंट नो लाइक दैट साउंड्स प्रीटी गुड टू मी थैंक यू बोथ फॉर दोस आंसर्स Uh, do we have any more questions please go to uh, reactions use the raise hand feature we'd love to hear from you acha agar koi nahi puchega fir mere apne sawal hain to fir matlab baad mein gile na karna to acha mera ek sawal tha uk admissions acha daud ka ek aur hai daud puch le yaar अच्छा मैं भी वैसे यही कह रहा था कि अच्छा अगर कोई और नहीं पूछा तो मैं एक्स्ट्रा सवाल पूछ लेता तो अपनी तरफ से सो जनरली स्पीकिंग मैं क्योंकि मेरा तो एक्सपीरियंस ये है ना कि आफ्टर ग्रेजुएटिंग फ्रॉम एचसन मैं चला गया था डेंटिस्ट बनने खुद सी एम एच से एंड आफ्टर थ्री इयर्स आई फाउंड आउट के दिस इज इन द फील्ड फॉर मी सो आई क्विट एंड आई वेंट टू लॉर्ड स्कूल ऑफ इकनॉमिक्स सो फॉर मी राइट नाउ गोइंग अब्रॉड इज बेसिकली गेटिंग दैट Uh, experience of working with different cultures and different people and obviously turkey ke andar bhi jab main gaya tha do mahine kaam karne to obviously wo bhi ek bada acha experience tha uh, different cultures se baat karna but the thing is i am majoring in economics and finance so whatever job i'm getting into that means ki main us country ki economics and finance in their language must be essentially very good to wohi baat aati hai na ki jab wo language ab aap seekhte ho to how can you come to that level jab aapko log kahen ki okay so this guy is exceptionally good in speaking like us तो वी कैन रिक्रूट हम इन आर कंपनीज तो यही पॉइंट था कि अगर हम फॉर एग्जाम्पल टर्की जाते हैं यू लर्न टर्किश बट देन यू गो अब्रॉड टू अनदर डिफरेंट कंट्री सो डज दैट गिव यू एन एज इन ओवर देयर इज वेल लाइक हाउ डू यू सिलेक्ट दैट फॉर इकोनॉमिक एक्सपीरियंस जो है स्पेशली बाहर काम करने का इफ लेट्स से यू एंड अप वर्किंग इन फाइनेंस और यू नो इन इन अ सिमिलर रोल वो बहुत फंजिबल uh, होता है या बहुत ट्रांसफरेबल होता है यू नो इफ आई वर्क इन दुबई Yes, it was an English-speaking go, but my colleagues Arabic may be both the thing, and you know some things I wouldn't understand. But um, you're learning the job. At the end of the day, Microsoft Excel English may be chalta or numbers hi hote, right? So, आपने एक दफा सीख लिया. उसके बाद you can go to another place and say, look, look, this is my work experience. Yes, it was in Turkish, but like now I'm applying for a job in Europe in an English-speaking country, let's say. Um, so I don't think that should stop you. In any case, if you have work experience, even if it's a few months from Turkey. when you're applying for jobs in pakistan gives you an edge right you go to mcb and you say ki bhi mere paas real world experience hai maine 4 mahine commercial bank in turkey mein kaam kiya tha urdu and english to main already bolta hu but you know that shows to me if i'm a hiring manager ki ye bachcha is someone who is willing to learn and work and uh, and push and sort of push himself so yeah i i i mean yes if you make a career there obviously it's best but what you learn is is yours to keep great ji thank you so much uh, for that question doubt so do we have any more any more questions yaar ye phir wohi baat aati hai seek discomfort wali jo usman kar raha tha yaar ke dekho aap log discomfort seek karte nahi ho phir jo hai acha khair to mera ek sawal tha uk admissions pe because we didn't touch on this uh, too deeply to uh, UK admissions के लिए क्या requirements हैं and what are your recommendations for starting out uh, with those? Yeah, we actually so uh, there's a there's a blog post on our website specifically for this specifically for Pakistanis because UK वाला everything I said about having an interest and like you know आपका personal essay in the US and you know this better than me now is you know is like a story UK बिल्कुल simple black and white है they're looking for why this course why this university and why you it is plain vanilla koi usme ye nahi likhna ki main chess club mein bhi like they they do not care it is just i did a levels economics mere teen a's hain i am very interested in economics here are like the economists and people that have inspired me ye aapka pehla paragraph ho gaya second mein aap kahenge hey university of lse 
you know, you don't need to be told this, but chalo, let's say University of Sheffield. I have researched you, so you website to the website. These professors are professors, these things are, this is the economics club. They just want to know that we have to study only economics in three years. Padhana hai. Is that what you are interested in and why are universities? So the good news is it's a very simple formula. And yes, they'll give a conditional admission. All they care about is grades and academic ability. So the bad news is like, I, to me, that seems like a very uh, narrow view from an admissions perspective. Kya ek bachche ko sirf, let's say nerds ko admission de rahe um, But you know, they say ki yaar, aap, aap paise de rahe aap economics padhne aare hai, idar udar kam aapko kyun padhai. So it's very different from the US where they want broad, broadly sort of educated people and interesting people and, you know, values and things. UK mein aisa kuch nahi hai. So just focus on your application and core strengths. And ye nahi ho sakta UK universities mein ke aapne A-levels mein uh, econ, math kiya na ho aur aap program apply karo econ and math, you will not convince LSE ke ji, mera ab mood change ho gaya. So be very careful and like diligent about A-levels and uski sync. Yeah, major change bhi kaafi mushkil hai. UK mein ja ke you stay on the same track aur uh, you're definitely right. Mein abhi us experience guzar tha. I did my bachelor's UK se. So, I think it's a good idea. So, do we have more questions actually before I go to my next one? Uh, G. Daud, please ask away. Uh, so, once you have decided that I have a master's degree in graduate graduate from X and X country, uh, would it be better if I work in Pakistan in the one or two years in the corporate world to get experience and then go for my master's or go directly for a master's abroad so that I work in future in future? So, is that better or should I work in Pakistan first? Yeah, a good question, but to me, it feels a bit like the chicken and egg problem where if you think about it, if master's ka goal is that you have a job and the job ka goal is that I like it or not, I would say if you're getting an opportunity in field field to work in Pakistan, I would prioritize that. So, think about the ends and the means to an end. So, similar question, if you have shadowed a dentist, ko shadow kar liya hota, right? So, Maybe you would have learned earlier that yeah, this is not for me. I don't want you to go down that path where you do everything. You do everything out of the job. You do everything out of the job. You do everything out of So apply. Show your interest. You're already doing a degree. So that shows interest. But try to get the job you think you know, is representative of okay, commercial banking or whatever it is, right? Investment banking in Pakistan. Apply. Kare. If you say that we only take the masters of masters, then you'll have your answer. But if what they say is like, you know what, we look for prior work experience, but you have an interesting story. You are a qualified dentist hai, uh, and you've now transitioned. So, okay, we'll give you an internship. Yeah, we'll give you an unpaid opportunity. Jump at that. My first job came out of an unpaid internship. And I said, I'm hungry. I don't want to do this. I have never done this. But I have done math. And I will learn it. Whatever it is, if someone can do it, I can do it. I said in my interview, I said that rocket science was literally not that you were trained in the NASA. It was in Excel, I will learn it. So, this you said in your interview, mein and you might save yourself, you know, the one year of master's and a gap in your CV and, and get straight to the job you want. Really helpful, guys. So, I had a question about you. You were both co-founders of uh, Outclass. So, you asked that do you do any admissions work? Uh, aap, you were mentioning that you have some blog posts related to this. So, uh, what can we do to access those? You know, are they free to access for us? Yeah, um, so no, for now, we're not doing any sort of paid uh, admissions work. We're, what we're doing is these are self paced courses uh, for O levels for now. Uh, and SAT ka bhi course. Hai. Uh, we think it's one of the best in the market. So anyone who's interested, please reach out. We'll give you a free trial and stuff. Uh, blog posts are to help people. The reason Ali and I are doing this and, and this session is we want to help people. We got lucky. We had good mentors and resources, but missing in Pakistan. So we just wanted to create a platform. And it's not just education. Interviewing skills, uh, resume, writing, and formatting. We just want to record really nice, demos and tutorials so people one click me they can learn it uh urdu me english me and delivered from people like you and me as opposed to you know you do an american workshop so 
You'll have a lot of free resources on the website. It's out-class.org. Uh, check it out and reach out if we can help in any way. Perfect. Uh, would you mind sending me the link after this uh, I session? I can, you know, share this in the WhatsApp groups. Absolutely. Uh, and Facebook. Uh, Perfect. Ji. So, uh, doubt there could also all have. <laughs> Or anyone else yeah, on so the call. It, could be, you know, it doesn't have to be for you. Yeah. Uh, could be for someone you know is applying, if, or general questions, or just comments. I, yeah, you will be like, like get comfortable with. Today, so hard things will be on the Exactly. So, yeah, all your video camera on. Uh, be comfortable. And I also said that if we have some time left, we can do some networking. So, just maybe say hi, say, you know, where you are at the moment, which universities you are thinking about. It's always good to have a second opinion here, especially if you are experts here. I don't want to say anything about experts. So, uh, please, yaar, if you have a comment, ho aapka, you know, anything about this session, to, you know, please do uh, unmute yourself. But yeah, I think bada mazeka mara session hua hai and uh, yaar Usman, are you joining from London right now? I am. Yeah, I'm in London. Acha, to matlab ke uh, quarantine ka bhi strict hai udhar like do you have to like stay indoors? Nahi, actually now they're going the other way. I think London, uh, UK has decided ki ab bas uh, herd immunity is the way to go because they're vaccinated, you know, 60% of the population has had three shots now. So isse zyada vaccination to kar nahi sakte. So it's more now if it if symptoms are reduced, it feels like the flu now either. So up koi restrictions nahi hai. I just flew back from Lahore and quarantine bhi thi. Like koi test bhi required, PCR bhi tha. Landed and came straight home. So yeah, it's a uh, you know I think that's the world we're headed to, and baki dunya bhi aise normalize hoyegi because we have to now get back to it. Hmm. So I'm thinking of visiting, like because mera wo visa hai. Uh, sorry. No, you should come. Like, let me know. Would love to host you. Come stay and uh, and and we can, you know, network here as well. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, London. Me too. I, I lived there three years. Now, so many memories. Oh, amazing. Yeah, that was my first college experience, really. Vanka. So it's good to hear that. So if I come, like, just to visit for like maybe a week or two, so there's no quarantine. Nahi hai, two ki, That's it. Fellow... You don't even need a PCR test. If you're fully vaccinated, you can work send. It's uh, super right. easy now. And do they have any like specific vaccines which they look at? Like Mira Pfizer uh, ke double dose laga tha? Nah, you're fine. You're fine. Even Pakistan wali abo, agar official ho, toh ho jati hai recognized. Right. Best ho gaya. So, chalein, it was such a pleasure to have you both, uh, Ali and Usman. This session recorded tha, so this will go on YouTube. I think ye, within the hour, I can send you the YouTube link. Thumbnail bhi piyari se banai hai, so hope you like it. Uh, and I hope that my audience members are going to be able to do this because I have a lot of To maintain your GPA and start study, are small universities good options as they have small class size? So, does anyone want to take this? Ali, do you want to talk about community schools and, and generally? I'll, I'll preemptively answer that, like, if we, you know, it's not a game where you're trying to show a, a high GPA and like. Unlike O levels wali game where it's all about right. kitne A's, GPA is a reflection of how hard your program is or logon ko pata hai. So no one's gonna get fooled, right? If in fact, agar aapko opposite lag raoga, Harvard Yale pe accusation aayi thi ki ji grade inflation hoti hai. You know, once the people get there, or har ek koi A de dete hain. Whether or not you believe it, the point is, if you're doing an engineering program from Georgia Tech, or aapka three GPA bhi hoga na, like I think employers and I would respect you way more. Then apne ja ke, you know, Hindi and, and economics kar liya from a, a lower tier school or up 4.0 ke saath ho. So people know how tough the degree and college is. And as such, shouldn't be thinking about gamifying it. It's more, of course, whatever school you're in, try your best to maintain your GPA. But I think the networking and, and career sort of focus matters way more than GPA. So, you know, 3.3 se leke 3.7 mein, I don't know if anyone just got job mili ho ya na mili ho because of that. I agree with you 100%. Yeah, you have to say that networking and you know, numbers at some point, they start to not matter at all. So, yeah. It's late pata laga and I'm repeating that, ki, you know, the yahan pe coffee chats get there, but if let's say you have one week left in your final exams or and you're applying to Merrill Lynch or, or some investment bank and the choice is that I'll study a week or maybe my grade will improve. Versus, 
I'm getting a conversation with a VP, half an hour coffee chat with a VP at that bank that I'm applying to. I back in college, I would have thought, yaar, focus karte hai, grade pe, ye to conversation baad mein mil jayegi. Today I can tell you all hiring at these major firms happens through referrals, through meeting someone, and through that person with the coffee chat, forwarding an email and your resume to HR. So real world may, you know, they need to see a paper with a grade hota hai. But this conversation that we've had, I'm very likely to hire Ahmed because, you know, I think he's personable, he's, he's brilliant. So if he applies to my firm, of course, I'll recommend him. But I sent his resume, I said, okay, you know, Columbia se bahut log aate hai, smart hoga, but why, why would I forward that to someone? So invest in personal interactions and relationships and don't think about gaming GPA. Sir, I'll take up that offer. Thank you very much. <laughs> I <laughs> really, really appreciate your kind words. Or, you know, maza aya, like I said, I think we're over time now. Um, achha, Ro- well, Rohan thanks for having us. Hai. This was really fun. Yeah, Rohan Khan ka ek hai, but maybe I can send it to you later and then I can reach out to Rohan separately okay. because of my time. Guzar ke. But yeah, sure. like I said, uh, amazing session hua, and thank you so much for attending. Audience member. I want to thank you as well and for, you know, setting up and leading the mentor group and I think it's brilliant. I always wanted to do it, but will confess, didn't have the bandwidth or the effort to, you know, run and then host all of this. So massive, massive kudos to you. Uh, love supporting it. And anyone on the network that needs to reach out, please do. Ab main openly offer karo. So this is the opposite of cold calling. Ke just reach out. If you're still applying for investment banking or something and you don't, then it's, it's really on you because uh, Ahmad and others have set up these resources to help you. Deep. Thank you so much again, Ji, speakers, audience members. Uh, see you, you next Thank week for another one. Okay, Ji, Allah Hafiz. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz, everyone. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.